ഓണറബിൾ മെമ്പേഴ്സ് പ്രൊഫസർ സൗദർ റൈജി സർ ഐ റൈസ് ടു സ്പീക്ക് ഓൺ ദി ആറാം സെ ആറാം സെ മോഷൻ റിഡപ്പ നല്ലകൊണ്ട ഗാഡി ഓൺ റെയിൽവേസ് ഈസ് ഗുഡ് ദാറ്റ് ഫോർ എ ചേഞ്ച് ദ റെയിൽവേ മിനിസ്റ്റർ ഈസ് ഹിയർ ഹി മേ ലിസൺ ടു സം ഓഫ് അവർ പോയിന്റ്സ് വി ഡിസ്കസ് this during the budget also but he was not there said as has been mentioned yes when the budget discussions were taken taking place you should have been there the railway minister is here no no he is now here when the railway budget was being when the budget was being discussed he was not here that's all right no budget was nothing because railway budget is part of the general budget no sir i did not approve when uh, no, nobody was discussing mr arun sir nobody was to discuss a railway demand grants that is coming yes after the break yes, yes. sir not, uh, i did not like it when no railway uh, minister presence when, not necessary not required mr arun jetli the... as finance minister removed the separate budget for the railways i think it would have been a good idea if railways still had a separate budget yes, but that is the nda government's priority they did it now this year huge amount of money has been given to railways 2.40 lakh crores the minister said that this will be spent mainly on track renewal doubling improvement of stations and bande bharat trains i saw a speech by the railway minister i think at the times railway uh, literary uh, discussion there he said that the prime minister called me and said can you do it then we put our engineers together and said we'll do it on our own we'll not import coaches from abroad now may i ask the honorable railway minister what is so high tech about your vande bharat bharat trains they are they are they are semi high speed trains in the world so many other trains are done and this is not rocket science starting a new vande bharat train so it's a good thing that he is trying to introduce trains which run up to 180 kilometers per hour it's a good thing is good that he is thinking of bande metro trains which will run at a speed of 120 kilometers per hour i think that the railways uh, are a strange thing in the sense that they carry 24 million passengers every day their earning comes from freight and much money is spent on the passenger traffic sir one problem i have sir while i speak all bjp members are going and speaking to the railway minister how will he listen to my speech Can, yeah they have their small local problems they are all going and asking them they can do it later kindly kindly avoid honorable nahi bolna chahiye no honorable members abhi debate hone dijiye honorable members very serious discussion is going on jo hai boliyega the private members resolution honorable member honorable member private members honorable members private, very important private members resolution is discussed in the house honorable railway ministry is spending time in the house you kindly avoid to meet right at this time after that sir now meet. let me let minister me start to listen to honorable members let me start no, by no, thanking the railway minister for something he has said that railways will not be private please 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 i am thanking railway minister that he has said that railways will not be privatized i thought few years back this government was thinking of privatizing parts of railways like in england there is branson trains like that there would be adani train ambani train like that 
fortunately that has been stopped earlier the government earlier the government was also thinking of privatizing the modernization of the railway station i am thankful again please don't be irritated that you have said that station developments will be done by the government by the railways themselves and no private parties will be engaged railways are the greatest national asset treasure we have it's 170 years old this year 1853 it started from bombay to thana so we have to maintain this asset now railway minister is putting emphasis on three things he wants to modernize the coaches of shatabdi duranto rajdhani etc etc one he wants to start this bande bharat and bande metro trains he is also going to introduce hydrogen trains that is trains fired by uh, powered by hydrogen he has said that he will run it in the kalka simla and njp darjeeling routes i appreciate that the railway minister has also said that he has given a lot of money to the states up has got an allocation of 14761 crores madhya pradesh 13607 crores west bengal rupees 11970 crores it's a fair allocation i would urge the railway minister that let him use the रेलवे मिनिस्टर टू कम्प्लीट all the projects that mamta banerji had started when she was railway minister at the center now what is happening he would know that the arambagh vishnupur line or tarokeshwar vishnupur line is still not complete if the railway minister has a problem he should go to bengal speak with the chief minister and settle the land issue why is he doing this secondly all the metro trains around calcutta all the other uh, cities have got metros run jointly by the state government and the railways but here at the urban development ministry at the center railways have nothing to do with metro trains even in delhi but in around calcutta all the trains are metro railways property now he is doing something that strange he is completing one third portion of a line and inaugurating that he has done shia uh, salt lake to shialda but the train has to go beyond howda it is hanging in that position he has done uh, joka to taratala it has to go up to bbd bag is lying there he has done new gorya to ruby it has to go to the airport is lying there all i would urge him is to complete the projects which have progressed somewhat not to start not to take up too many projects and leave them incomplete it leaves a bad taste in the mouth he should consider doing that because leaving incomplete projects and railway style is that you continue projects for years you give one rupee or 100 rupee allocation the project continues that is not the way as far as west bengal is concerned sir i would urge him to complete the started projects as soon as possible and declare a timeline that i shall project, complete such and such project by such and such time so that people are not in limbo they don't 
They don't wait till kingdom come for when the minister will complete the project. Sir, he has mentioned that 1,275 stations, including New Delhi, Mumbai, Kanpur. By day, by day. By day. By day. Honorable Minister, he will. Now, Honorable, honorable member, Honorable Minister is sitting here. Now, why you are interfering? Honorable Minister is sitting here. He can reply it. No, he can reply it. Honorable member. Honorable member. You are heckling. Honorable member. Tell me. Honorable member. Honorable member, please. Please address it. Honorable Minister is sitting here. Whatever he uh, raised the point, he can reply it. Please sit down, sit down, sit down. Not necessary, please. Honorable member, please sit down. Dada. Saudaraji, Saudaraji, you can. Saudaraji. Sadhar, you can continue. You can address to. He is going on speaking. No need. No need. He to, is giving a parable. No need to reply him. You, you can address to chair. Sir, he has said Sir. that 1275 stations. It's a private member. Sir, private Sir, member resolution. Please now. He is not yielding. Point, point of order. I want to know why they made out order. I think. Let him complete. Please. 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 I want to say that railway is our national asset. Ishiyanji is raising a point of order. Sir, he is the professional heckler. Allow him. Allow him. He has been speaking in the direction of 115. He has been speaking in the direction of 115. He has been speaking in the direction of 115. If someone is stopping a member, then it is said that he will give the answer to the minister. Sir, the speaker's direction is 115. The minister is not. He is sitting in the direction of 115. कि किसी मेंबर ने गलत किया तो उसको राइट है इसका जवाब देने के लिए ये पॉइंट ऑफ ऑर्डर है सर और ये पूरे सदन और पूरे देश को जान लेने की आवश्यकता है मंत्री जो है मंत्री भी यहाँ एक सदस्य के तौर पर है ठीक है वो मंत्रालय चलाते हैं लेकिन ये इनक्रेक्ट सर अंग्रेजी में अंग्रेजी में एक प्रवर्ब है he has to show his face to the minister that he is heckling the opposition. Very good. You will get some Dada, for this. Very, so, very good. Please sit down. Please. Why you are interfering? You are showing your face. When you are going to speak, nobody was interfered. You then, can go. Nishiyaji. Yes. Sir, sir lastly. Ah, please. Lastly, the minister among all ministers is a competent one. He has a degree in engineering from an IIT. Once an accident took place, he went under a carriage and tried to fix the problem or find out the problem himself. He has also brought some good changes in the railway administrative setup. He is a little overburdened because the government does not have enough competent people. So he is given both IT and railways. But People still have some hope about him. I want to see. I, I, I want to see. It's not. अधिकार है कि नहीं है? He's congratulating the honourable minister. मैंने मैंने तो बता दिया है. मंत्री नहीं सर. मंत्री क्यों उठ के जवाब देंगे? हम तो प्रेस कर रहे हैं. He's praising. He's honourable member is congratulating honourable minister. Sir, he doesn't like any minister to be praised. Yeah, please you can go. Yes. Sir, lastly, I would say. That you have done, you are do, trying to do many high tech things. Yesterday I was reading Kalam Sam's book, Autobiography, Chariots of Fire, Wings of Fire. And there I found out how to develop a single satellite launch vehicle. They had to build teams, and together they produced the indigenously produced satellite launch vehicle. Nothing can be done by the railway minister alone. He has to develop a team. He already has an RDSO. 
Railway Design and Standard Organization. So he says, goes to a school children and says that the pr Prime Minister told me, do it. I did it. Then I did it. Prime Minister said, do even better. We have no objection. You, may, you have been appointed by the Prime Minister. You may praise him. Yes. But before anything, let him look at the basics. Let him improve the cleanliness of the stations, of the railway toilets, of the toilets in the toilets in the coaches. And lastly, let him stop the, the theft of railway property. Let him stop the pilferage of railway property. Please, please, please. Because it's a small Honourable thing member, please. that will make a difference. Thank you. Sir, Lokat Chatterjee, please sit down, sit down. Lokat Chatterjee, wait a minute. Next time, now you, you shout. Honorable member, please sit down. Yes. Saurajji, please come down. Constituency, me jao. Samalo. Sir, yeah. with that I thank the. Already you made a point, the please. I have, I have nothing to now. say about East Coast Railway. I don't know. Yes. I, I say that do it for Eastern Railway, Southeastern Railway, and Metro Railway in Calcutta. Honorable Member Sri Maluk Nagarji. Honorable Member Sri Maluk Nagarji. Sit down, sit down. 